Welcome back to CIT 157 Module 4-2. In this module, you will practice some validation skills. Refer head first JavaScript Chapter 1. Download validation.html under proper folder. Now everything is ready to start your activity. Before you start, I want to give you the meaning of validation here. Client computers may send some data to a server computer. Before they send data, you may want to check if the format of the data is correct form or not. As an example, if someone put James in the age text box, it is incorrect data. So here, validation means checking if the data is valid or not from client computer before it is sent to sever computers. First, add functions check name, and check number, inside function check validation. When a user click the button click to check valid data or not, the button will call function check validation, first. Then inside function check validation, functions check name, and check number, will be called. They are empty now. We need put codes inside each function. For validation, you need to know if statements. It is called conditional statement. There are three basic examples if statement. First example shows just if statement. If the condition is true, it will do action. If false, it will not do anything. Second shows if, else, structure. If the condition is true, then it will do action 1. If the condition is false, it will do action 2. Third uses if else if else structure. If the condition is true, then it will do action 1. If false, then there is second condition. You can have multiple else if. By the way, in this activity, you will use first and second examples. In step 2, add if statement inside function check name. You will use if, else, structure. A variable name will get a value from text box id equals username. Then it asks if the variable name is equal to empty character, which is two double quotation marks without space. If a user does not type anything for name, the value of the name is empty character. So you alert an error message. If it is not empty character, you give confirm message. One thing you should look at carefully is that it uses two equal signs equals equals to compare the value of name and empty character. This is the result of step 2. Now add if statement inside function check number. You use if, else, structures. A variable age will get a value from text box id equals user age. To check if the value is a number or not, you need to convert the value as number type. Values from an input text box are string data type. So we need convert them to number data type to check it. Parseint is an built-in function that converts string data type to number data type. Then you will use another built-in function isnan, is not a number. Isnan is not a number, is built-in function to check if the age is number or not. If the value of age is not a number, then isnan, age, will return true. Then you generate error message. If the value of age is a number, then isnan, age, will return false. This is else case. Then you generate confirmation message. This is the result of step 3. In this step 4, you will update function check validation. First, you need to combine functions check name and check number together inside function check validation. You use an and and logic to combine two functions together. Second, normally valid data do not need confirmation each time. So let's use single if structure instead of if else. These are examples of logical operators. An operator gives true when both sides are true. If one of them is false, the result is false. Or operator gives true when any side is true. Both true is also true. Only both sides are false, then the result is false. Not operator gives opposite of the current result. By the way you may combine more than two. In this slide you will generate error messages without conformation message. You will use return for it. Functions check name and check number may return true or false each case. False cases 
use alert, for error message and then return false to check validation, function call where each function was called. True cases, just return true to function check validation. This is the final result after step 4. This is the end of module 4-2. In this module, you have learned how to validate for empty text box and built-in function isnan, is not a number. You also used another built-in function parseint, to convert string data type number to integer data type. Then, you return true or false on validation functions to control them. I will see you in next lecture.